What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Kalima, and today I am at the Regard Magazine unveiling party. Everyone from Octavia Spencer, Sterling K. Brown, Regina King, and even royal princess-to-be Meghan Markle has been featured in this magazine. But who will be next? It's where pop culture meets wisdom. It's Kalima Cam. Comes to mind. Of course, your first answer mm -hmm. that comes to mind in 90 seconds. Okay. All right? All right, I got you. I can't cheat. Look, okay. Baked what? or fried? Oh, fried. Kanye, genius or jackass? Genius. Okay. Favorite ice cream? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Action or comedy? Ooh, action. Action or horror? Action. Action or romantic comedy? Action. Best feature? Ooh, paid in full. Best decision ever made? Moving to LA. Yay! Superpower, what would it be? Uh, to read women's minds, like Mel Gibson and what women want. That's what I want. It's the only power I want. Oh, one thing on the bucket list. Oh, to jump out of a plane. Okay. Favorite quote? Um, in order to make it in this business, you either got to be crazy driven or driven crazy. I'm both. Yes. Favorite lyric? Anything that Drake has ever said. <laughs> Best music video? Anything that Drake has ever made. Um, favorite fashion line? Oh, uh, that's so hard. I'm gonna just say Nike and just Nike, play it safe. Okay, yeah, Nike. You got Nike on, you might as well. Just say Nike and play it safe. Yeah. What's up? Well, we're basically out of time. All right, we're out of time. But we, I want to go back to this question. You wish you, you think that was dope? Yeah, that was dope. I love that people enjoy the game. But I want to know. You want to read women's minds. But what if? Yeah. You're on a first date and the woman really ain't feeling you and you just, you know, because sometimes it can break your confidence if you hear what she's thinking. Uh, it won't break mine. I won't. It won't. No? It won't bother me none. If that's fine, it'll just allow me to know how to play the situation from there. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Okay, what's your sign? I'm a cancer. Okay. All right. There it is. Well, so are you a, a big communicator when a girl, because usually like if girls, you know, tell you too much what's on their mind, sometimes it can be a little heavy. Yeah, that's true. But I, I can communicate that. And I think I'm, I think I'm grown enough to understand what's, what it is. Yeah, yeah. So I, I would want that for the women that's not going to openly discuss that. Because there's a lot of women that won't openly discuss that. Right, right. right. And that's why I would want to be able to read it for myself. Would you say you're a mama's boy? No. 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 Well, it seems like you understand women a lot, so I just felt like it must have come from some sort of women guidance. Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of, my mom is amazing, but I, I, I stopped being a mama's boy probably about around 14. Yeah, okay. so I, I think I'm over the mama's boy face. I feel you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. Enjoy your night. You too. This is Zachary Momo from Netflix's Seven Seconds. Yeah. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling dandy. I'm feeling, yes. yeah, bright. Yes, yes. uplifted, oh, yes. positive, yes. blessed, and highly favored. Yes. That part. Okay. Well, you know, it's all about you know lifestyle and fashion. Regard magazine. So, what are you wearing? Because you look amazing. Um. So I'm wearing a, a custom piece. Oh. Yes. Uh, it was um, picked out for me from Dimitri. Who, who runs Regard? Oh, yeah. So he picked this out for me, and doesn't it just look it fantastic? Looks dashing, darling. Oh, oh. Tell me about the. Tell me about the accent. The accent, yes. So if you haven't figured it already, I'm British. Yes. yes. But what else, Momo? Where is it? Where does it Momo, come? from? Nigeria. Okay. Yes, Niger boy, you know. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I'm, repping. I'm getting major Black Panther vibes, like, oh, really? straight from Wakanda right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> West Africa, you know, okay. if anything, Mbaku, you know, Nefa, yeah. you know, that's it. <laughs> that's what's up. Okay, so um, tell me one thing that every man should have in his closet. Ooh, a suit. A suit. A suit. A three-piece. Yeah, you don't have to have a three-piece, but a suit. Every man should have at least a suit. That's what's up. And if you weren't acting, what would you be doing? Ah, if I wasn't acting, what would I be doing? Hmm. Sounds like it's your passion. Yeah, that's it. Acting is my passion, so I still probably would be acting. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited to see the new show. Seven seconds, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. What's up, you guys? I am here with Carrie Burnins once again from Black Panther. How are you feeling? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. I interviewed you at the City Gala, and the one question I forgot to ask you, you know, all of the actresses had to shave their head. Yeah. What, what was that experience like? 
It was life changing. Um, first off, I had like 16, no, 18 inches of hair, I think, at the moment. And I was, uh, when I got the call and got the offer, I was like, uh, can I think about it? And which was a crazy decision because in Hollywood, opportunities open and close just like that. But I'm thankful they gave me like a few hours. So then I like talked with a mentor, some friends of mine, and they were like, your hair is going to grow back. And I also then I had to sit on it and think about it. It wasn't only for me, it was for also for young girls also to know that hair isn't as important as they think it is and that you have no hair or hair. Beauty comes from the inside out. And if you can rock a head full of hair as you can rock a bald head, trust me, I did it, you know, so. That's amazing. And you look amazing with short hair. And I noticed you didn't go back to a wig. And you have you have dabbled in the wig, but you celebrate your hair the way it is. Yeah, no, I love it. Oh, my God. I actually, I had more hair than this back at the gala. Um, I don't know if you remember. Yeah. And I got it shaved back down just to try how it is, rocking it a little shorter. But it was it was a pretty incredible experience, so, you know. Well, last question. If you weren't acting, what would you be doing? That's a great question, and I actually was talking with um, my guy with that the other day, and I would be traveling the world. I would be in every country there is, living with just a backpack and a couple of pair of clothes, and I wouldn't care if I took a shower in the lake or the ocean or whatever because I love the outdoors, and that's exactly what I would do. That's amazing. I mean, my goodness, I think I think... I'm like, you know, inspired beyond. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to interview. Yeah, absolutely, a pleasure. <laughs> I am here with Jennifer Bassey. You are nominated for a Daytime Emmy. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very well. <laughs> I was just telling her this red lipstick is giving me life, and you said it's actually three different shades from Sephora. Right, there's but a lip stain. It's a lip stain, but she also knew the dupe, guys. You know, every every expensive lipstick has a dupe, which is amazing. I love that. Yeah. Oh, and this uh, is? This is my fiancé, George. George, how are you? Very good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys as well. So I like his lipstick. <laughs> you guys are really, really cute together, by the way. We're getting married. Do you have a date yet? Uh, probably next week. Oh, next week. <laughs> In New York City. Oh my goodness. Oh, look. Yeah, you did it. You did it right. You did it right. Okay, but I have to ask you, uh, as someone who's single and you know, hopefully wants to take a chance again and you know, get married at some point in my life. And I haven't. I well, I've been. I haven't been married, but I've sort of had a spiritual marriage. What would you say, really quickly, um, you know, your advice for someone who isn't sure, when is the right time to get married when you know it's time what to commit? I, what I look for in a relationship is a sense of humor. If he makes you laugh, that's it. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. You know, and it's a multi-level thing, you know. The passion is good, and it lasts quite a while, but... It's multi-level. It should be spiritual, mental, physical. It should be the whole thing. That's literally you just named all of my qualifications. So it's not that hard to find. I'm happy to hear that. No, you. And I think they'll come right in front of you. You'll know. You'll know. I believe that. It'll be like angel music going off. You know. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, she she heard angel music when she met you. Okay. <laughs>